This video shows you how you can remove a pin when signing in on Windows 11. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So in Windows 11, it probably asked you when you set the laptop up to set attach it to a Microsoft account, set up a password and then set up a pin number. But what if you don't want to have this pin? Well, let's just go through the steps on how you remove it. I'm just going to type in the pin to get into the system first of all. So let the system load up if you're not in it already. And then what we want to do is we want to go down to the start button just down there, click on that and then find settings. If we can't find settings, then just type on your keyboard accounts. Then hopefully after a few seconds under best match, you should see sign in options, system settings. Once you see that, left click once on it. Then you want to move your mouse over pin Windows Hello. Left click once on it and there's an option there to either change the pin if you want to change it or remove it. So click on remove and it comes up here. It says, are you sure you want to remove your pin? Having a pin makes it easier to sign into Windows, make payments and connect to apps and services. If you're using a face or fingerprint recognition, they will stop working if you remove your pin. So make sure that you definitely want to keep your pin and you can click here to learn how having a pin keeps you safe here before you remove it. I'm adamant I want to remove the pin, so click on remove. And then it asks for your Microsoft password. This is the password for your Microsoft account. OK, it's not the same as your pin. So I'm just going to type in my password and then click on OK. And there we go. The pin has now gone and you can see that because it now says set up. Now you're going to revert back now to signing in with a password. So let's just sign out. And if we go to sign back in again, it's going to ask for your Microsoft password. So let's just do that, type that in. And there we go. Then it signs you in. But what if you now want to remove the Microsoft password? What if you don't want to sign in with any password? You want to switch your laptop on and it just signs in automatically. So what we're going to have to do is you can, you've got two choices here. You can either remove the password and sign in with a local account, in which case just click on the start button, click on settings, go into accounts, scroll down and go into your info. And then you've got an option there, sign in with a local account instead. This means it will detach your account from the Microsoft account and you'll have a local account. So you won't need to have a password in that. Or if you want to keep your computer attached to your Microsoft account just the way it was before, then the other option is we can hold the Windows key on the keyboard. That is the key that's usually between the FN and ALT key if you've got a laptop or the control key and the ALT key on your keyboard. Bottom row of keys on the keyboard on the left hand side. Hold that down and tap the letter R, R for Romeo. Then let go of both keys once you see this run box come up. Delete out anything that might be in there. As you can see, I've got appwiz.cpo in there. So I'm just going to delete that out. And I'm going to type in there net plwiz. That's net plwiz. Then press enter or return or click on OK. Once you've done that, you should see this box come up and untick users must enter a username and password to use this computer. Now, this could affect all users on the computer. So if you're sharing this with other users, then just make sure they are happy not to have a password set on the computer. So if they are happy or you're the sole user of the computer, then just untick that, then press apply or click on apply. Type in your Microsoft password at this point and then click in confirm password and type in your Microsoft password again and then click on OK and then click on OK again. Now, just bear in mind, you might still need your Microsoft password at some time. If, say, the computer goes to sleep or you've got the screensaver set to go back to the login screen when uh, you, you're at the screensaver, if you want to check that, then just click on the start button and type screen saver. 
and then click on change screen saver there and just make sure that there's no tick here where it says on resume display login screen or log on screen. But if your computer does go to sleep, then it's likely that you will go back to the log on screen and require a password. So let's just test this out. So I'm going to click on the start button, click on this here, and I'm going to click on restart. I'm going to let the computer restart and we'll see if it logs in automatically. So the computer's now just rebooting up. Hopefully shouldn't take too long. And there we go. We've got our little backdrop there and it's logging in. It says welcome already. I haven't typed in a password. It's just logged me straight in. But obviously do be aware if like say the computer goes to sleep and it resumes from sleep, then it could ask for a password. So what if you want to turn that off? Well, click on the start button just down there. Click on settings. Go to accounts on the left there. Just go down to sign in options. Left click once and just scroll down a bit here. And there you go. There's an option there. If you've been away, when should Windows require you to sign in again? So at the moment, it's set to when PC wakes up from sleep. So click on the drop down and select never there. You've also got there below it dynamic lock. So just make sure there's no tick to the left of allow Windows to lock your device automatically when you're away. And then we can just click on the cross just up there. And hopefully now Windows should not ask us for a password when we turn our computer on, but still leaves us logged in to our Microsoft account. Although, like I say, there may be some times when it may ask for a password. Like, for instance, if you sign out, so let's just click here and click sign out. When we go to log back in again, it is going to ask us for our password. So this is our Microsoft password. If you forget your Microsoft password, then you can always just click down here, click restart, let the computer restart. And let's just see if it automatically logs back in again. So here we go. The computer's just restarting. We've got the spinning circle underneath the Windows logo. Hopefully shouldn't take too long. And now we've got the welcome. And as you can see, yeah, it is logging back in for us automatically. Now, if you want to go back to signing in with a password, then again, just hold down the Windows key on the keyboard, tap the letter R, R for Romeo, type in NetPLWiz once again, it might already still be in there like mine is, click on OK or press enter or return and put a tick in users must enter a username and password to use this computer, then click on apply then click OK and it will then ask you for a password the next time you log into the computer. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel. Or if you can't do that and you're looking for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, then please consider subscribing or purchasing through the links in the description down below. Donating to this channel or subscribing or purchasing through those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.